promise I have this drum set tutorial video in which I'll be sharing some of the ways that you can make your fine arts solo presentation on drums more memorable, okay? Now, some of you have no idea what I'm talking about fine arts, um, but it's a church thing. A lot of students that are preparing right now for a uh, a, 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 a festival here in, in probably the next few weeks is when district is, is um, they're you know probably scrounging trying to get some ideas together so I hope this is a help for, for you uh, maybe you're not participating in fine arts but you also do some different things like maybe the guitar center um, uh, drum competition uh, different drum offs here and there uh, these are some ideas that you know actually can work for a lot of different ways uh, a lot of different solos and, and festivals and competitions um, I know that whenever I was young, I was doing fine arts. I also did the Mars Music Competition, the Guitar Center uh, drum, drum Set Solo Competition, and ha I had some success in those. And um, But uh, let me tell you, you know, just from experience that um, you can sit there and throw out all the bells and whistles in terms of the, the showmanship, but content is priority, okay? So even though I'm going to show you some, some little tricks and things like that that I've seen or that I've done before that I've judged before, um, the content is priority, okay? So, uh, you know, you want these to be complementary, not, you know, take the place of, uh, supplementary, I guess would be the word, um, of, of a well-prepared solo that is clean and that has a lot of other uh, meat to it. All right, the first way that you can make yourself memorable in your solo is by incorporating other instruments, okay? So today I'm gonna just gonna uh, do a little tambourine work while I'm playing the drums. Obviously, the uh, main issue there is transitioning back to where you're playing with two sticks, right? So that's something where you can be creative and, uh, and find some really neat way to do that. But uh, let me show you what that looks like. This next one, I saw a, a student do this at a drum competition um, years ago, and he uh, brought his own snare drum, which I recommend that you do that uh, if you're going to do this particular method. But um, he flipped the snare over in the middle of the presentation, and he started playing uh, on the snare side. Okay, and it was a really, really neat timbre, uh, kind of an R&B-ish type feel. Uh, he played very laid back grooves, and um, he was even scratching on the snares. Um, let me show you what that kind of looked like. The next way that you can make your presentation more memorable is actually by getting off the drum throne and uh, playing on the, the different parts of the drum set that are not like the typical parts you play on, like maybe like the rim uh, or some of the hardware. And so I saw a student do this at Nationals uh, a while back, and uh, I remember it. You know, that's why what, that, what, that's what we're doing here, right? The ways to make yourself stand out in the mind of the judges, okay? And so uh, this student was able to get up and, and kind of explore the different sounds of the drums and the different timbres uh, that are not just the drum head part of it, okay? So um, this is kind of what that looked like. This next method that I have for you to make your presentation more memorable is actually one of my favorites because it's like the one that demands the least amount of skill, right? <laughs> uh, but I saw this guy do this at, at a drum, uh, a drum off in, in a guitar center, and it was like you know everybody was just going, yeah, that's awesome, whatever. Uh, he wasn't really doing anything super technical, but uh, he actually picked up the hi hat at the very end when he was splashing out. And he started shaking it. So he was doing the rollout, you know, with his feet and everything. Uh, and over here doing, you know, all kinds of cymbal rolls and everything. And he started just, um, you know, picking up the hi-hat as well. So uh, anyway, let me show you what that looked like.
All right, the next method that I have for you to uh, make your, your presentation more memorable uh, is to incorporate some back sticking and stick flips, things like that. Uh, the key here is to make it tasteful and that it fits in, right? Um, you know, you want to make it seem seamless and uh, like it's part of the, the musical intricacies that you're, you know, that you're incorporating. Uh, if you're just doing back sticking for the sake of back sticking and, and it kind of stops the momentum of whatever phrasing you're doing, things like that, then it may not be the best idea. But um, uh, let me show you an example of um, some back sticking that I've seen before. way that I have for you to uh, be able to make your presentation more memorable uh, is actually to start off playing with your hands your fingers uh, and then um, transition to sticks later on. I actually did this at a drum off many years ago and I played some triplet grids on the snare drum and then I did the same thing once I picked up the stick. So uh, it was kind of a nice way to create a little bit of, you know, um, I don't know, suspense, okay, what, what's going to happen next or whatever. So, uh, and I was just playing some simple triplet grids. Uh, let me show you what that looked like. Well, there you have it. Those are six different ways that you can make your presentation uh, that much more memorable. Uh, and I, I want to reemphasize this, what I said a little while ago, that all this extra stuff is just really complimentary. It should be complimentary to what you're doing musically, right? Uh, there's no substitute for playing clean, for having a variety in your different styles and, and executing those well with good precision and tempo. Um, so you want to make sure that's the priority and you can dress all that up with uh, some of these different ideas or any any that you may come up on your own. Uh, they, they're really, there's there's so many more things that you can do, right? And so uh, I just want to make sure that the content's always at the forefront of what you're doing. Um, and uh, I also want to, you know, say that uh, if you need any ideas for uh, actually getting your, your solo together, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that, that link in the description. So if you need to reference that, uh, it's right there for you. Uh, and really, I, I don't get into drum stuff necessarily. Um, but I do get into some of the things that um, are generic across all of the categories, all the instrumental solo categories. Um, and I think that there's some really good content in there that I want you to, to make sure that you have that checked off first before you start trying to dress up your solo uh, with any of this stuff or anything that you may think of on your own, right? Uh, the other thing I want to point out is that I um, everything I was doing, I was always using a metronome, okay? Uh, and I was protecting my hearing as well, so I, I, I want to make sure I say that as well. Um, and so you want to protect your hearing so that one day you can hear your grandkids. Okay, the other thing is that you want to make sure you're using a metronome so that you don't feel the fluctuations and tempo and everything. Any good judge is going to make sure they're tapping their toe to see if they can feel your beat uh, and, and hopefully not feel it fluctuate. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say is that I incorporated a, a lot of different styles of music. There was, um, you know, some different, uh, like a swing pattern I think I did. And, uh, some rock stuff, whatever, but um, you want to make sure you're using a lot of variety uh, in there. Don't don't just stick to one um, style or, or even two styles of music. That can get very, very old really quick. Uh, so uh, just make sure that you're looking at those things as well. Um, and I want to wish you the, the very best of luck in any competitions, any festivals that you have coming up. All right. Thank you. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, don't forget to share and subscribe and uh, just look out for any of the videos that I might have uh, coming out soon that might be of benefit to you as well. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.